Good afternoon, Chris and Jenny, and how are you both today? Very well, thank you, Paul. Yeah, thank yeah you. keeping well um, and Good. safe, I think is the word. Yeah, just about the same, I think same so, yeah. yeah. A lot of excitement. Thank, thank you for being in the same box today. Normally, I've got two different boxes I'm having to juggle around, but it's really great to see you both. And Jenny, we've we've obviously, we've done a podcast and I've brought your books. We've sent your books around the world. Incredible. We've done some exciting stuff with Phoebe and... Mm -hmm. We know you've got a new character uh, sort of bouncing around in the background, which I'm sure you'll tell us about today. Um, so I'd like you both to give us the background really to yourselves and where you've come from and, and what brings you here today as such. Are we going to start with, um, we start with Chris, I think. <laughs> well, I've, Put him uh, on the spot I, straight away, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> well, my background is, uh, I, heck, I spent many years um, in the play industry creating uh, environments for children to play. Um, so I learned a lot about conservation and about uh, protecting the environment and, and bringing the environment to, into, into children's play. Mm. Um, and I've always had that sort of, uh, uh, I suppose, the, the, the consciousness of, of how we treat our planet. Um, I worked for a company that its main ethos was protect the planet at all costs. So coming through to, uh, to now, um, in my 60th year, um, I began writing music when I was a, a young man, a, you know, a small boy, really, but it never really took off until I was into my probably my 30s. Um, and songwriting actually came to me um, when I was in my 40s. Um, and, um, and it sort of developed from there. And as far as singing goes, because that's the voice on the record, um, that only started about I don't know, 12, 13 years ago when I had to learn to sing to get my songs heard so that someone else could sing them. So um, that is your that, voice on that? On yeah, I, 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 sing, I sing the song, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's really good. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I still don't reckon the world is ready for my voice, but <laughs> it's out there, so it's too late now. It's, it's not quite Ed Sheeran, but you've got that style, I think. It, okay. It's definitely got some style. I really enjoyed the, um, the the song. I think it's I think it's important that you you know it's not just a case of singing a song. You have to perform the song so that yeah. it, the message and the feeling and the and the um, the emotion comes through the the the, 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 the you know the singing of the song even mm. on record. Mm. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I I worked with with quite a few people, including Jenny. I mean, we we, we wrote an album about uh, 10, 11 years ago. Um, which I'm still very proud of, and I still listen to occasionally. Um, and that was actually was probably my first venture into singing on a on a record. Yeah, yeah right. it was. Um, but yes, I've I've put I've just finished my own album, and I was looking for a song to to go on the back end of it. And um, Jen said to me, "That one, how why, about that one? We why don't you one. think about that yeah, one?" Put and, that I, one on. and I and I sort of looked at it and tweaked it a bit and went into the studio, and it was done in a day. Mm. Wow. Well, we're going to talk more about that in a minute, but yeah. let's talk about yourselves first. So, Jenny, come on, tell us more. There's, you didn't tell us about your music writing, your songwriting before, I'm sure. So there must be no, some... No, possibly not. I was, I was very much... Um, well, the focus, I think, before for the podcast was all about Tales from Other Earth, wasn't it? Which is yeah. something that, you know, that we've started. And uh, we started back in 2020. And when we needed a composer for it at the start... I, I asked Chris to come and join us. So we're both in Tales from Other Earth. But yeah. this really um, is, is separate, I think, in a way, because like Chris says, we've been writing music now um, and performing music. We've done a few yeah. gigs for, for um, charity and that kind of thing as well uh, for probably about 10 years now. Um, when I first moved back from New Zealand after I lived over there for seven years, um, I spotted, or actually my husband at the time, spotted a keyboard in the back of your truck. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Um, and Chris was actually our, um, our, our landlord uh, of the property that we moved back uh, to when we got back to England um, to be in the area close to our families. Um, and I think he mentioned it to you. He said, oh, my, you know, my wife sings a bit. <laughs> and so, yeah, we, we kind of started jamming yeah. and, and kind of caught up. And, and before we knew it, you know, I was sharing some of my songs with Chris and he was sharing some of his songs with me and some of his writings. Um, and he was, he was a genius. He is a genius. I mean, I sometimes sing my songs to him or hum my songs to him and he will play them back to me on the piano. And that 
talent is just incredible just amazing it's blown me away um and then we started singing together and I was writing some duets and we started yeah. singing um and yeah it's just been fun it's been our creative outlet I think and when I went through my divorce for instance that album that Chris was referring to really was my creative outlet it, it let me know that um my life at the time wasn't quite on the right path in mm. terms of the relationship and the music continued and it just kept reminding me that it it wasn't quite right there was reasons it wasn't quite right and I needed to um exit it I think in a certain way um which happened but in terms of it matters to me and in terms of the conservation messages and how much I love nature I, I can't put I can't describe how much I love nature it's everything to me um, and conservation I'm a mother um, and obviously being a parent you've got to look for the future you've got to think of the future generations you've got to think the sort of the world that your children are going to inherit and I I was very concerned about that and so um you know and also when we were doing the whole thing with tales from mother earth and we were out there talking to people we had people coming up to us and saying oh nature just doesn't matter to me and i was so shocked i was so shocked and obviously like chris says we mm. wrote that last year and then we also had covid and um, not covid sorry well obviously covid was happening at the time but we also had cop 26 that was looming as well and we thought you know what is going to happen out of cop 26 is it going to be amazing change is it going to be great things or is it going to be politicians talking and and like we put in those lyrics talking some more mm -hmm. so i mean in terms of our background um i think it's true to say that we we had that creative influence to connect and once you share someone's words and their music you're sharing someone's soul and we've just um, had a friendship for the last, what, 10, 11, 12 years, really. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And it's just yeah, yeah. developed from there. It's, it's just <clears> been <throat> very, very strong because we know each other so well. I, you... I, I look at my grandchildren and, um, and my children. Mm -hmm. I have two girls and, and three grandchildren so far. And, and, I, and I'm trying to look at the planet that they're going to inherit from us. Mm -hmm. And it, it frightens me. Um, yeah. We will survive. We, we, you know, we'll, they'll they'll manage to get through it, but not in the way that we see it, or, or we have seen it in, in you know fifty years ago when we were growing up as children. The world was a very different place. Um, we need to find a way back towards that. How we do that is is entirely up to the the, the, the geniuses that we have out there. Um, but we've decided that we need to play a part within the grand scheme of things and what do we do what are we good at and the thing is that we're good at communicating a message through song mm. and through music and um, if that's where my uh, my contribution lies then that's where it, that's what i'm going to concentrate on i can i can write a bit as well and i do comment a lot on on social media and ask questions and I get good responses, especially through the LinkedIn community. Mm. Um, but through my music, I, I found I touch people's hearts. Um, it, 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 it makes me feel very good that I do that. Um, and um, uh, as well as writing songs, I, I write music as well, but I, I actually don't write or read music at all. It's all in here. And uh, I have to learn it, remember it, play it, hopefully record it before I forget it. <laughs> and then I move on to the next bit. But yeah, there are so many times when I sit at the piano and I, I, come, I, I come out with a piece of music straight from the heart um, and I forget to press record. And <laughs> we say, it play just, it again, Chris, and it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. It just disappears into the ether. That's a sign of true genius. You know that, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Oh, it, it, yeah. yeah. And, and it's I pure it it's so pure isn't it that's yeah. what it is it's it, pure that you're just it is. going with it that's amazing well i think also paul when i when i first met chris he was a a reluctant musician in a way as well you, uh -huh. you weren't putting yourself out there you weren't showing anyone this amazing light and this amazing talent and so i i set him a task that he's uh accepted <laughs> yeah. um and that is I mean, um, this was like 10 years ago, I think I, I put this task yeah. to you. And it was like every piano. I mean, if I had the talent Chris has in terms of playing music, I tried. I mean, I can I can play music. I can play the piano. But 
there's something lacking between the words coming out and my hands on the keys. I, there's just, it, you think it's going to be a natural connection and it's not. I think it's one of the hardest things really. Yeah. Um, so yeah, hats off, absolutely. But I gave him this challenge that every piano he ever passes and sees, never to pass it, to actually sit at it and play something. And yeah. and you've been able to do that, haven't oh, you? You've played yeah. a few now. <laughs> I've, I've been told on one or two occasions, get off. <laughs> <laughs> but I do it because I've got instructions from her next to me. Yeah, I give him right. a kick. And I guess you've said that to me in the past, so I hope that's mm. okay to say that. But um, <laughs> I, I give him a kick because, you know, when, he, when he's a little bit low, I just think the talent you have, mm. you know, go out there, find a piano and play it and you will yeah. give people so much joy. Um, so, yeah, it's our, definitely our creative outlet. We definitely inspire each other. Yeah. And the... A common thing we have, obviously, because we're also connected with Tales from Mother Earth in a massive way, yeah. is is the conservation. And when we had people say to us, "It doesn't matter," that that really hit home because I just <sighs> thought, "What are you saying? It doesn't matter." I mean, you're a parent, and yeah, I mean, it's saying that you, you it doesn't care about the air you breathe, you don't care about the food you're eating, or where it's coming from, or how it's how it's how it's grown, how it's developed, and and nature. It it just really struck me, and so when we looked at the lyrics, it was very easy to turn those kind of discussions into lyrics really, yeah. to say, mm -hmm. people yeah. are saying out there, it's not matter and it's mattering so much to us. We need to do something about it. And so when we put this together, we knew it had a, a greater purpose than us because we almost heard um, a Michael Jackson song, didn't we, in our mind? Oh yeah, the, the Earth, Earth song. song. Mm -hmm. We kind of were talking about that and I said, I can really hear children joining in and, and singing the chorus and singing some of these some of these um, lyrics because it's so, it's powerful stuff. We even got the goosebumps on our arms at one point, didn't we? Well, and that's always an indication. That, yeah. You <laughs> sent that link to me last week and straight away my, I'm not exaggerating here, my heart opened up to what, well, you know, the words, the music, it was, it just hit me. And I found myself listening, you know, I love music, I love song, and I do like to listen to the words to understand what was going on. And when I know someone who's actually written it, then it sort of means more to me, you know, it does matter. And then when you start to listen to those words and the video clip that was attached to it, yeah, it just sort of like, you just, it just, I hit a brick wall regarding we need to do something with this. Exactly. Hence, I said, yeah. right, I've got a choir lined up. Let's, I've got all my networks. We could all get on Zoom and sing it. Brilliant. We can't all sing. You know, my, I, I used to be in a choir at school. I think my, my choir uh, sort of teacher would call me a growler now. She used to call us <laughs> growlers or um, you have a, on the right for the growlers and the left for the choir. Um, yeah, so I'll be a growler now, obviously. But I think, you, you know, I would <laughs> sing. I'm a football uh, singer, if that makes sense, from the football spectator. Well, you'd be chanting, and, and that song needs exactly. chanting. It really yeah. does. You yeah. can do the chorus with, and, and just will everybody to come together on it because it's so, yeah. so important. And if you put your passion and your emotion into that song, then it will be, I, I believe, you know, it can travel around the world and it because it will be infectious because it does matter to us, it matters to all of us, and we need to somehow reach out to everybody. And I believe that our music, that song, can really unify people um, behind the cause of the fact that, you know, wake up, this really does matter to us. Yeah. So let's go back to the morning of the day you wrote the, the song. Okay. And where did it all start? So go through that story for us. Joni often comes to me on the phone and says, I'm bored. <laughs> but I've got a, an hour to spare. I've got an hour to spare. That's more yeah, like it. Yeah, an hour. Oh, you can do a lot in an hour then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's never enough. Anyway, I'm, I'm lucky that I, um, wanna, <laughs> I have a, a soundproofed uh, studio shed in my garden where I have my pianos and I do a lot of my writing and playing out there. And um, so I invited her around. I said, come on, we'll, we'll do a bit of singing or whatever. A music session. Anyway, the long, and the, the long and the short of it was that she turned up and I said, well, let's not, let's not sing, let's write a song instead. 
Hmm. And so what do you write a song about? You could write a song about love, about uh, life and, and, and... There's always and, inspiration in a song. That's right. There's always got to be a reason to write it. And, and for us, I think, and um, I'm talking, for, yeah, for us, I think we, we take it out of life experiences, really, yeah. don't we? On yeah. this particular day, I think we settled on the environment. Yeah, because and, it, uh, it's huge in our hearts. This, this is back in March last year. And um, and we and we started putting this song together. We just threw some words on a page, uh, each of us, and then we put the words together and started um, making up the the, the the lines of the song. Mm. Um, and at the same time, I was playing with chords on the piano, and so we could get the, the the song to scan with the music. And then the melody started forming. And the melody, funny enough, but to both of us, it, it comes naturally. You don't have to sit there and say, "Well, where's this going to go." you you just start singing and it works like we know where it's going to go yeah yeah and then yeah. the chorus i said well we need something that's going to be a bit anthemic a bit punchy yeah. so that's where whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa came out <laughs> and um to me that's totally alien because i don't i don't sort of do that side of music i think uh in the past you know i think there's probably a bon jovi influence of me somehow. <laughs> yeah i think something's <laughs> happened here i was just going to say that <laughs> Definitely a Bon Jovi influence. But yeah, so. um, and then we <laughs> then we basically shelved the song, really, and, we, and we thought, oh, we'll get back to that sometime. Uh, mm. COP26 happened, and um, and I was looking for an, the last song to go on my album. And um, and Jen said, well, we could do this one. And I said, well, OK, well, it needs some work. So mm. uh, we knew that COP26 had happened, and it was an unmitigated situation well failure actually mm. um, I'm, I'm afraid it, it, it failed to deal with the issues that that are worrying us at the moment and um, any resolution that was made was purely um, it was a window sh w window dressing mm. Yeah. Mm. and that's my opinion so we added the the, the the center bits that when the fire burns it heats the earth and those sections there and the politicians talk and talk some more that's it um, <laughs> We we then yeah. sort of uh, Jen handed the song to me and said, right, go and do your stuff. Well, he was um, going up to a recording studio to do his album, obviously mm -hmm. in, in a brilliant recording studio where you go in Wales. I'm I'm a mum of two children here in Ashford in Kent, and I I couldn't travel up to Wales to uh, come and join you in the recording studio, but I was green with envy. Um, and yeah, you you went yeah. ahead and recorded it, and and it's just fantastic. It's just, yeah. And when I heard it, when you sent it back to me, um. I cried because I was I was I get quite emotional when I listen to it one because obviously you know it it does matter it matters so much sometimes it hurts let's face it and it really does matter but then angry as well because for some people it doesn't matter and we really need to reach out to them so then it was all about well we've got this amazing song that's yeah. radio ready after he went to the studio with it and it was like what to do what, what can we do with it how can we make this work and so then I really put a plan together of sending it out to, to lots of organisations using LinkedIn and my connections and just going, look, we've, we've got this song. We put the first verse out, yeah, didn't that's we? Right. We yeah. put the first verse. So the first verse is, what does it matter if we fail to see the little things dropped by you and me that are carried on the tide far out to sea? What does it matter? What does it matter? And I put those words with a picture of a footprints from a bird, footprints from a turtle, and then unfortunately what we tend to leave on the beach which is shocking yeah. um and Paul we got about 10,000 or more views on it. it it was just amazing and this was just before Christmas um the beginning week of Christmas I think it was the beginning of December and people started saying crazy things like well this could be Christmas number one and we were just like going <laughs> yeah right <laughs> <laughs> don't know about that but but thank you very much for your interest and for saying such such lovely things about our song but and but all we did was put that verse me, out no me, music we said if you want to know more please get in contact because you know this song is you know we'd love to send it to you so you can have a listen I mean it wasn't on YouTube at that point it purely just was um it purely just was on an on mp3 on my phone yeah at that that's right yeah at that moment yeah and but so, it has got that pedigree hasn't it that song to be in the charts and to possibly, be challenging yes. A yeah. Christmas number one or whatever it is it has got the well, pedigree to yeah. do that that's right I mean it's got more legs than ever now obviously yeah. because it's the yeah. ARC 2030 album um, anthem sorry and it's got more legs than ever and the fact that it's found its purpose mm -hmm. is just a joy to to Chris and myself because you know the the traction that it's going to have the the connections that that are there 
and and how it can be put to work now for well for the world which is mm-hmm. still kind of quite strange for us to say that because this is our song in a way yeah. but it's um it's just incredible i mean the anthem and then obviously arc 2030 put the um um put the video together and you're right it's such a hard hitting video and that completely and utterly unifies your thought process of yeah. of course it matters it realigns to, everything it? all together realigns everything what yeah. was going through your minds when you were sitting in that and you in the in the first recording studio and you're writing the, these words and the bit you know i can just see it now you've got one pad yeah you've, you've both got your pads you're you both putting your words well, I, and I they all come together every, every now and then and so the litter thing was was really concerning me the fact that i take my boys um litter collecting and yeah and we have people sort of just passing us and it's not the fact that I mean, some people have even said, are your boys in trouble? Is this their punishment? And I'm like, no, this is something that we all want to do because once you turn around and after you've cleared an area, then you can see what a difference you've made. And that makes us all feel good. So it's not a punishment at all. We actually like doing it and we go out and do it regularly. I I love trees. Um, I've fallen out of a few of them (laughs) over the years. Um, Literally. Yeah, well, you can can see my looks reflect the the very accidents (laughs) that I've had. But... um, no, I, I love trees and, and, um, and yeah, we, without them, they, you know, they're, they're the lungs of the world and without them, we are in peril. Um, but I always hate seeing trees taken down for, for, for little or no reason. Um, sometimes it's necessary and sometimes we need to use the material, but providing we're replacing it, that's fine. But, um, you know, what does it matter if we bring down a tree been standing there for centuries and that's the sort of thing that really annoys me. Um, I, I suppose that that's, yeah, that that's my part. That's mm. what that's what I was thinking when we started putting the words together. We thought this is sounding quite good, actually. <laughs> A little bit nonchalant about it. This is quite good. We could do something with this. <laughs> um, and as Never I said, it wasn't. Know. You sort of shelved it for a little bit and then came back to it um, uh, late late September, early October. But what it was when we sent it out to. Um, you know the various people on LinkedIn and the interest was there it 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 was just it was just wonderful and I was then sending emails with the um with the doc with the file yeah. and I letting them hear it and then the interest was even stronger when it came back so it was incredible so like I was saying um then it came to a case of sending it out to organizations and some of our connections and the ARC 2030 really just came about purely because I was contacting Stephen who's the chair of ARC 2030 um I was sending him details about um Tales from Mother Earth and how we can work together and and our books obviously children's books um and he was telling me about Archangels which is part of um one of the pillars of ARC 2030 and I literally Paul just put it as a, a footnote at the end of an e- of the end of um uh, an email just saying oh by the way um I don't know if you know because Sometimes I guess I don't tell that many people, but I love to create music. I'm a singer songwriter. I work with um, my, my colleague and my friend Chris Simons, who's actually also our composer at Tales from Mother Earth. Um, and we've put this song together, and uh, I thought, you know, I'm just going to include it here. I thought you might, you know, you might be interested in it. It's saying all the things that really matter at the moment, that are very much mattering to us, and it's in our mm. mind. And obviously, it's all about conservation um, and the world. And well, I'm going to include it and just have a listen and get back to me and let me know what you think. And that was it. That was on the ooh, 14th or 15th of um, December, something like that. Yeah. And he didn't. He didn't. He didn't uh, no, he pick up on man. it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, when we went back to sort of remind, you know, just sort of nudge him a little bit on the other matters, we just said, "Oh, did you hear the song?" Mm. And uh, oh, I, he said, "I've had loads of songs sent in." He said, um, "I haven't got to that one." And uh, so, well, look, it, it, if you think about Michael Jackson's Earth song. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, and he said, oh, I, I, I'll listen to it. And then about literally it was oh, I don't know, half an hour later, I suppose. Yeah, I said got, that when yeah. I was talking to him. I said, um, it's, I, was, I was just trying to sort of set, set him up to kind of have a listen to it and kind of think what it may be sounding like. And I, I actually put it in the email that I yeah. sent. I said, I can hear lots of children singing this at the moment. It's, it's Chris singing it and he's done a fantastic job in the studio. But in the future... I can hear lots of children singing it, and when I was talking to him on the on um, on the Zoom call, I was kind of thinking, think Michael Jackson's Earth song. It's kind of you know around there. <laughs> and when he first caught up with yeah. us, he was like, you know, Jenny was really sounding it up and sounding it up, but it's worth it. He's going. 
<laughs> and so yeah it was amazing um he came back to us on on linkedin and he said i've I've heard it and now I've heard it 10 times and I've played it to the family I adore it I've been speaking to this person that person and this person in different parts of the world about yeah. it yeah do you mind um, if we send it to 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 my producers in LA yeah and we were like whoa um yeah so and it kind of grew from there he said I actually got quite emotional listening to it and I was like yeah me too mm -hmm. um and uh it, it's it's really grown from there and he said it's got the arc anthem written all over it and to hear those words was just it's just you know, yeah. well it i when i phoned you i said you need to sit down <laughs> I, I had goosebumps and tingling going tingling going up and down my spine it was i've never had this before you see I, you know I've, I've written a lot of music mm. but it's basically been friends and relatives i'm a hobby pianist yeah as i said well, not I no more you're going to hit the big time with this one i think <laughs> so what there's something going to be happening on uh, the, the world five? environment day yeah, yeah. june, june fifth. the 5th june the 5th yeah Tell us about that. Right. The, the idea is to bring a collection of choirs from around the world um, to record the song, um, either in their own language, but hopefully in English as well. Um, and then what we're going to do is uh, cr create a video with almost like a, a live aid type song where particular choirs sing a line or two. And they put this video together so that the song can be played and you hear the choirs playing it. Well, that, that's our understanding of it. Yeah. I mean, obviously, this is all ARC 2030's anthem, so think things may change, but and that's down to them. But that's what we've been informed. And mm. and also, as well as those 30 choirs from around the world and different dialects and different cultures and everything, um, you know, they're very keen on, on everyone, really, on yeah. schools and communities, um, groups that are meeting up, families, just to you know, get get the um, get the song, learn the song, and then sing it and put it on social media and yes. just let everybody sing it together. Yeah. So there's one big chorus of "It Matters to Me," which will just be amazing um, on the um, on the fifth of June, which is World Environment Day. It's the UN in World Environment Day, and it comes really at the end of the celebrations for the um, the Queen's celebrations. It's well, Sunday, I think. Bizarrely, when you announced the, the, about the choir we had already discussed it within our team that we've got a, uh, one of our co-directors and our founders uh, elvira she actually manages a choir she <laughs> teaches singing and it wasn't it was a sunday before i got your message and wow. she sang to me happy birthday and it was an absolutely amazing song and i thought and then you tell us about this choir and it's just our planets have been coming together. And then this one big planet comes in front of us regarding this song. So we're, uh, as Umlink, we, we are very keen to be a part of that, that choir. Fantastic. Where, where fantastic. are you guys based or are you all over the world? So this is interesting. So Danny's based in Chicago. Okay. Elvira is Russian, but she lives in Venice. And obviously I'm based in the UK. Okay. Um, but the choir is based in Venice, is Europe. But I think right. she teaches okay. all around. So it could be anywhere. But you know, Amazing. we've got Zoom nowadays and good mics and things. Yeah. And, yeah. That's how and as works. I said, I'm a growler. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can definitely I won't do be in it. I'll be, yeah. I'll be conducting. I'll yeah. be conducting <laughs> if, uh, if I do have any featuring in it. So. so what we need to do is send you the little, you've got the lyric sheet and you've got the chords, obviously. So yep. in the future, we'll send you the, uh, the music um, and, then, and then you can play it and, and go from there. And, and, and join it on social media and like you said, put it on your website and wherever you want to put it. And, and just let's, we just need to raise that awareness around the world that it, that it really matters. And hopefully, you know, the powers that be will listen, but it's not necessarily the powers that be these days. It's the people, isn't it? It's, it's, yeah. it's yeah. us that yeah. have a certain amount of power because, you know, we want that transparency and we want that trust in where we place our money as consumers. And that's so important. We've um, we've uh, we've actually prepared a, a a no voice version of the song that we will put out like um, a backing track to, to yeah. all the choirs that have, that have responded to us. Um, can't quite do that just yet, but that will come up soon. But yes, the idea is to try and persuade enough people around the world to um, to, to to start thinking and start supporting. Um, a cam this campaign, it matters to me, or the ARC 2030. Um, when you get a, a 20 to 25% of the population of any particular nation shouting and screaming, the governments will hear it. Mm. 
Mm. It, it's enough to change policy. Mm. And we need to do this around the world. And I'm, funny enough, I had a conversation the other day. What about China? What about America? What about Russia? We can only do that through influencing people. Mm. If we talk to, let's just take someone on social media, let's say, just take someone, like Beyonce, who's got 300 million followers. If she can start telling people what she's doing to save the planet, her followers will start doing that as part of their, you know, their support for that artist. Yeah, it's influencing, isn't it? It is influencing. Yeah. So we, that's what we need to do. And it's amazing how music and song can do that because you, you, you hear some music and you'll be singing it all day in your, in your mind. And yeah, those words, it doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> matter whether you're singing them words. Them words are going in your mind, aren't yes, they? Exactly. exactly. That's right. It's, it's also touches on the raw emotions within us mm. and uh, it, it you know we all know where we were when we heard a particular song that affected us to the point where we cried yeah. um it's the same as when you see something uh, terrible on television you always happen to know where you were um yeah. but it, you, you hear certain songs and they remind you of certain parts in your life when you were mm. f meeting your first girlfriend holding your baby for the first time um mm. you know mm. watching your parents well part of this world if, if you want to go that far but you yeah, know there's always a piece of music that sort of yeah. supports that particular event and mm. i think if we can do that with it matters to me then mm. then our mission is complete i've done you know we've done our job um we've got other work to do there's other music to write um but certainly to get a campaign off the ground i think the song is strong enough to do that and i hope it is and i hope we can reach as many people around the world mm. as possible um, so that they can collectively um, transmit the message further up the line. Yeah. And it's positive so, as well. I mean, there's, there's got to be that positive message with it. You know, it matters to me, so let's do something about it. Let's all come together, you know, make a plan. I mean, again, the lyrics, you just look at the lyrics and it's like, let's get it done. You know, let, let's come together all as one. It, it's so important. So, and I think there's got to be that positive message. There's got to be a message of hope there because... If, if you go on the the offensive and, and go, it's awful and this is happening and that's happening and that's happening, then then people in their human state really can turn off and switch off and become very um, defensive about it very quickly. So the whole thing about it matters to me is the fact that there's a positive message there. It's, it's not just one person, it's everybody coming together. It's the importance of collaboration, which, which as we know, I mean, collaboration is everything. You know, to be one person in, the, in this group and trying to achieve this is, is crazy, but to be a collective is so, so important and so much can be done when you actually come together and collaborate. And so I think there's a really important positive message that, that's ringing through the whole thing and the music element just unifies it, just brings it together, just makes us feel that, just it can it, you know we can achieve this 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 can be achieved we can all stand together we can be proud of what we can achieve and let's do something as David Attenborough said it's, it's like um you know the worst thing you can do is do nothing you know don't waste another moment don't do nothing so do, do something nothing. and, and that's what started Tales from Mother Earth as well the fact that we had to do something um and we all felt better by doing something it made us feel better and collectively if you if you can do something and share that it's even better but I think for It Matters to Me and ARC 2030, out of all the organisations that we, we kind of put it out to or were kind of aware of it, and I guess there wasn't that many in a way, but we are delighted that um, ARC 2030 obviously um, saw the potential in, in the music, really connected with the words, really got that positive um, vibe from, from what we'd written and what we put together in the music and got that emotion, which is what it's all about. Um, and out of all those organisations, we're delighted that they've they've seen the potential in that. Um, and also, you know, they're going to use it for their anthem, which is just it's just out of the world, out of this world for us. It's, it's just fantastic. But out of all of them out there, Paul, I really believe ARC 2030 can hold hope for the world. And it's strange saying that kind of thing because it's such a huge thing to say. But with their traction, with their connections, with the work they're doing, with their platform, um, that there really is a, a great chance in the next 10 years to, to work with them to get amazing results for the world. It's all about restoring, isn't it, like you said? Restoring, 
the the planet to where it was perhaps um, at the beginning of the industrial revolution. Mm. Um, he's talking about restoring 500 million hectares of land, um, and, th and there's a there's a method behind it, and it works. Mm. Um, he wants to invest in the future through technology, through people, through science, and 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 through nature, and he wants to educate uh, and educating everybody to 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 understand that what they do in the kitchen at home in the playground at school mm. in mm. in everyday work um it matters. has an effect mm. on the greater uh, um, problem around the planet greta Thunberg, you know as young and innocent as she is she says no one is too small to make a difference mm. Mm. consider what you buy consider what you consume if you don't buy it they won't make it yeah, that's right. They tell you what you need. You go out there thinking you need it, so you buy it. If you don't need it, don't buy it. They won't make it, and we will be better off. Very good point. Mm -hmm. So it's come at this stage, and you know, there's so much content gone into this. I'm, I'm, I'm I haven't even had a chance to say half the questions I want to ask. The passion is just <laughs> Sorry, well, we get coming through away. my headphones yeah. this now. Passion. This is our yeah. passion. So we get I know away. it is. So it's come to that stage where I like to um, give something back to the industry and the people listening to today. And I'd like to put you guys on the, on the spot and say, is there anything you can give back today to the industry of the, the people listening to our um, podcast today? I don't know about giving back, but... Uh, the thing that I that strikes me is we all have a choice that that's the thing that strikes me so in terms of like for instance I walked my son up to school today and I picked up four masks on the journey up and then I went around the block and picked up another four or five um, and I was with a friend and my friend was complaining about the people that actually dropped them and I was like yeah but that's in the past tense now you've got to think about the future and you have a choice that mask is on the floor on the ground in our environment do we pick it up or do we just walk past it and go, oh, someone's dropped that and it's their responsibility? It's not their responsibility anymore. They've left it in the environment. And if you care about the environment, you pick it up. And I can't walk past rubbish like that and leave it. So yeah, I picked up about eight or nine this morning. So I don't know if that's necessarily giving back, but I'm just, I just, I think it's really important to know that we all have a choice and it's all up to us to make the right choices um, as best as we can. Because, because like Chris said, in the kitchen or at the school or, or out in the environment, I mean, we have a choice. You can feed the birds or you don't have to feed the birds. It's much nicer if you do feed the birds. You feel much better about it. You can provide water for them. You can put nest boxes up. You can do the bee hotels. And you know all about putting water out for bees. And Because I know you bought a bee bath, didn't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> and again, it's, it's a choice. And day. by making those right choices, yeah. you are guaranteed to make yourself feel better. And so that's the giving back, isn't it? Because everybody wants to feel better about, about the future, about what's happening. And we do have some element of control. And the element of control I think we all have is in our environment. We have a choice and let's make those right choices for us and for our future and for our children. Mm. That's my bit. And do, Chris, do you want to contribute to that? If I was to give something back to the planet, um, it would be hope. Mm. Hope that... In, in, in the fact that we can all make a difference in our own way. Um, we need to think before we do, and we need to understand what we've done so that we don't do it again, if it's the wrong thing. Um, and we need to understand the world around us needs us as, um, mm. you know, we need the planet more than it needs us, but the planet needs us to help it now. Mm. And that's the message I want to give back. I, I try to communicate my, uh, my, my thoughts and my emotions through music. And if I can inspire people to, to respond to that in a positive way, um, then that's, my, that's what I give back to the world. Um, but my, my message is simple. Um, be conscious of the world around you. Be conscious of the people around you. And, um, mm. and, and just let's all work together um to to make change mm. for the good 
It's the same really as what we say from Tales from Mother Earth, isn't it? You know, we can all make a difference. No one's too small to make a difference. And another quote that I absolutely adore is the one from Anne Frank, the fact that no one needs to wait a single moment before we make the world a better place. Oh, something along those lines. Yeah. Something along those lines. That might not be it word for word. I, but... I, I just sent that simple message to you that this matters to me, yes. what you're doing. Thank you. It does. It does. I think you've done amazing. This the story, listening to the story and feeling your pet. Honestly, I've I've been battered today through my <laughs> headphones and through the screen of the passion that's uh, coming through from this. It is an amazing song. Um, I think it is going somewhere. It's got legs, it's got pedigree, it's got everything it needs to get out across the world and for people to really embrace. Um well done. I, you know, I'm, I'm very proud to be interviewing you as, as part of this so quickly as well. So oh, thank, thank you very you much very for much. that opportunity. It's, it's, just what we, it's just what we do. Before I'm going to get you, I'm going to give you the, the opportunity and the honour to introduce this song because I'm going to play at the end. But please, you and your families be safe in these times. Bless you, Paul. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you for your wonderful support. And keep singing. It matters to me. Will do. So please introduce us as we go out. Do you want to do that? Yeah, here is uh, the song by Jenny and, and Chris. Um, it's it's called "It Matters to Me," and um, it's the Ark anthem. It's the Ark, yeah. Ark twenty thirty anthem. Check it out; it's amazing.
to you.